Hey, I'm Jonathan Chaplin. Uh, welcome to my solo show, Sprawl. This is the largest work that I've ever done. Um, and it's kind of based on me doing an entire neighborhood. Usually I would work on individual homes and these like deeply personal things within the home. But for this one, I was trying to then expand out or zoom out. It feels like you've brought more abstraction to your work than ever. Is there a reason? Originally, in making these almost perfect model homes, they would always be from one perfect perspective. But once you started to manipulate or move that angle to a different perspective, then you would actually see that they're complete, the facade is completely broken. Um, and then placing all those perfect spaces in different angles, making them imperfect, then you could start to kind of understand that um, there's multiple vantage points within the space um, and kind of the construction of that then becomes what this painting's about, you know. So this is three panels, your biggest work ever. Was, yeah, how yeah, long did yeah. it take? What was it like to um, create? Yeah, it starts from hand-drawn sketches and then Photoshop collages that then are uh, implemented into uh, the 3D program that then I can extrude and build into space. And then from that, then I can kind of play with color um, and light and form and shadow. And then the composition kind of arrives from that. It's interesting because a lot of that isn't shown on the final result. I, like there, it's a very flat texture, you know. Um, and I think that that kind of like plays into the facade of the pieces that I'm breaking apart. I'm kind of like been burying that in the history of the surface of the painting. That being said, in terms of the time that that, that, that takes, I would say like uh, around four months, I'd say four months to really from start to finish. What is some of the inspiration for your work? You know, Al Held uh, is like a, a great painter that I was looking at a lot when making this one in particular, you know, but painting is, is a big one, but also, you know, early 3D um, video game, you know, uh, early 3D uh, model engines are kind of like interesting vocabularies to kind of mine from. And uh, so for me, that's kind of like also where that really culminated from is looking at that uh, and then the freedom to kind of create within that framework has always been a, an interesting uh, uh, way to work for me. How has art changed your life? I think it's always been there since I've been a little kid. I, you know, it's, it's one of those things where like my mom was a painter and graphic designer and she would like take me around to like the printers. And I like remember the smell of the like the giant printers back in the day when before computers, you know? Uh, so I think that it was like one of those things that it wasn't ever, it never changed because it was always present. 